Cucumber James 2.0. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time to have a new face for the channel. For the longest time, possibly as far back as August of 2020, the face of the channel has always been the Jelly Skin. And rightfully so, of course. The character design of the Jelly Skin is so unique and so nice to look at, and all of the facial expressions, all of the colors I use just fit the character so nicely. But there's one glaring issue from using this character. Hey, ain't that the motherfucker from Fortnite? Yes, the main issue is that the Jelly Skin is already a pre-existing character. And while someone that doesn't play Fortnite might not immediately realize that, anyone who has seen the character already will be able to put two and two together. And while Fortnite is one of my favorite games that I play from time to time, to time, to time to time, to time, I want a character that's original. A character that when people see it, they'll have no doubt in saying, that's Cucumber James. Now, I wasn't going to make this change for a while, but I feel like doing it sooner with the audience I have will be a lot better than doing it later with a bigger audience. So with that said, here is the new Cucumber James. Looks pretty sweet, huh? So the design behind this character obviously has some similarities with the original. The main difference is the color scheme and the visor. Now the reason I picked white is because all of my friends in their character share the same color with their text in my videos. So Brayden's blue, Shire's pink, Keegan's green, Chris's purple, and me, like other YouTubers who make these group gaming videos, my text is white. But white just so happens to be one of my favorite colors. In clothing, in design, I just really like it for some reason. But that's not the only reason that white works. See, one of the things that drew me to the jelly skin in the first place was the color scheme. That fade of pink to blue has always been my favorite. The combination of those colors, it's its just, it's just amazing to look at. And I wanted to incorporate that into this design as well. So using white as a base color really helps to bring out those colors in this design. And finally, I wanted to add another feature that just makes it a unique design, a sort of signature aspect of the Cucumber James character. So I just added a black visor. I personally don't wear visors in real life yet, but I really like how they look and I think it really stands out on this character. So yeah, that's about it. But what does this mean for the channel? Is everything gonna be changed? Is this the end of Cucumber James as we know it? No. This doesn't really change anything. The main thing that it's going to change is the art moving forward. Any art that I make or that I'm going to use will have this character instead of Jelly. That means any thumbnails I make, any time I work on the FNF mod, it's going to use this character instead. But as for the pre-existing art, I'm not, I'm not going back and changing all of that. I think it'll be nice to have the jelly skin be there to serve as a memory of what used to be. So yeah, while this is a pretty big change, I'm really happy with what I've made and how the design looks and that I'm finally able to have a character I can call my own. But let me know how you guys feel in the comments if you think this is disgusting, if you think this is the most beautiful thing you've ever seen. I would love to hear your feedback. All right. Peace, y'all.